Minsan apa yang kuasut Greek temples in the world. It's next to the sea and the sailors used to worship Poseidon every time they pass. Now we're learning history as well. <laughs> we are now in our Airbnb. We're here. The kitchen, the dining table, and a very huge living room overlooking the sea. Isn't it amazing? There's even a terrace here. Sunyo is a popular day trip destination from Athens. Visitors come here to experience the magnificent Temple of Poseidon and watch the sunset. This is a part of one of the columns. Even though the temple is not perfectly conserved, it's still very amazing. And if you see here, there's like a square thing. They put a block over there and then they connect it with another column to be like this. It's amazing because they have a perfect line. The Temple of Poseidon is one of the most amazing Greek temples in the world. One of the reasons is because of its amazing location. It dominates the southernmost tip of Attica where the horizon meets the Aegean Sea. The temple is perched on the craggy rocks of Cape Sunyo, enveloped in myth and historic facts dated from antiquity until the present times. This site is very famous for watching the sunset. We just finished watching the sunset at the Poseidon Temple appetizer and this looks like spices how's that i like it fresh fried calamari how do you use this like this <laughs> a cut of it it doesn't smell like tuna Really good tuna for tuna. Latte. Oh my yeah. god. Tuna. It tastes so fresh. If you're going to visit here during the daytime, I'm sure you will enjoy your food more because it's overlooking the sea. This is really delicious. So full. Polinostimo. You can eat the cat. Look, it's there. Hello, kitty. <laughs> Hello, kitty. Today we're going to Delphi. It is the center of the ancient world. It is believed that Zeus threw two birds on the edge of the world and those two birds met at Delphi. Three hours drive to Delphi. The following day, we woke up early to drive to Delphi. Delphi was an important ancient Greek religious sanctuary sacred to the god Apollo. We're looking for 
for a place to eat before we go to the archaeological site. The food place is closed, so we have to find a new one. The first Suvlaki and Jiro's shop is still closed. We just chose this restaurant here. It doesn't have a good rate in TripAdvisor, but then it has a good view and they are the only ones that are open at this time. We're going to visit the museum first to know a little bit about the history of Delphi and then we will go to the ruins. The Delphi Archaeological Museum is one of the principal museums of Greece and one of the most visited. We just finished visiting the museum. I've learned a lot and now it's time to visit the ruins. Located on Mount Parnassus, the sanctuary was home to the famous Oracle of Apollo, which gave cryptic predictions and guidance to both city-states and individuals. We're finally inside the archaeological site. I'm so excited! Eee! All that remains of the Temple of Apollo, the most important building in the Sanctuary of Apollo, are the foundations. The present Temple of Apollo, built in Doric style in the 4th century BC, preserved the ground plan of the earlier 6th century BC archaic temple and reused the old column drums, but the detailing is typical of the late classical period. It is here in the inner shrine that the Pythia or priestess would sit and utter the words of the oracle sent to her by Apollo and interpreted by the priests. I want to compete, so I will be the first woman who will participate in the Pisan Games, wrestling with the boys. We are going to the Tholus. The Tholas is a circular building which was created between 380 and 360 BC at the center of the Sanctuary of Athena Pronaia. It is constructed with 20 Doric columns. Now what are you eating? Kinder Bueno. Muy bien. Your diet is so nice. Arachova is a mountainous town and is the most popular winter destination in Greece. The town stands on the slopes of Mount Parnassus and only 8 kilometers from the archaeological site of Delphi. Due to its natural beauty, the traditional landscape and the close ski center, Arachova receives many visitors, particularly in the period of Christmas. We're never getting tired of Jidos and Suvlaki because they are so tasty. For souvlaki, the cuts are bigger and for Jidos, the meat are sliced into smaller pieces like this. It's so good as usual. I love Greek food. We noticed that the village has a posh vibe. The shops look elegant. There are also shops that sell traditional desserts, clothes, and local foods. Stay tuned for my next vlog. I'll be showing you Meteora. It is one of the most amazing places we have seen. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until next time, keep exploring rain or shine.